You reminded me. Now I said this the last time we recorded. We recorded. I gave you a story about when I was a teacher, high school teacher, uh, how pe- how uh, how upset I got uh, in a particular particular moment. The most pissed off I ever got. Now you just brought me back to that that place in time. I'm not real thrilled about it, but I used to get pissed off. They had a box. The and by them I say they, the the students used to have a box of props. All right, and they would. Uh, most of it was decorative. You know, Christmas was coming around. We'd decorate the set. And for those of you who don't know, I taught a, uh, a television production class at an all boys Catholic school. And we used to, uh, we used to have a, a homeroom show, a homeroom show that was presented throughout the school. Anyway, God knows where this huge, like three foot Elmo doll was part of the box props. Okay. And it always wound up in inconspicuous places like the chair I fucking sat in or underneath something or around something. And it had a little teeny tiny hole where uh, spackles of cotton just kept getting thrown out. And I had to clean it up all the time. I didn't like it. It served no purpose. I, I, uh, I called out. It was a planned, uh, a planned absence one day. Came back and shit was everywhere. And the Elmo doll was in my chair. I told the classes that I was going to rent a wood chipper and push Elmo through it. <laughs> I'm going to rent a goddamn fucking wood chipper. It's going to make me broke. But I'll push it through it and watch all you cry. Oh, God. It does fascinate me that you would get so angry at something that you would so willingly do. I know, right? That's a total Wes <laughs> Fox move right there. Such a, I was like, a, yeah. it wasn't a dick. It was just um, it's a world-class needler. <laughs> Especially at that age. <laughs>